Slightly annoying. Your papa go. Clam, clam. Clam, clam, clam. You gotta make recycling fun. Also, I never do this with anything else than plastic, otherwise there would be like huge mess. Office is currently looking like chaos because I'm, I'm trying to like redo a couple of things here so I can make it even more efficient whenever I'm recording videos. It is very cold out here. Some of you that have been here on the channel probably know that I built my office in an attic that is in a really old building. I think that this building was built in the year 1890. 1873. And I'm starting to feel that that space is a little bit too small for the YouTube videos that I want to make. So I'm thinking that during 2021, we are going to expand this entire space and turn this into a creative YouTube space where we can record even more YouTube videos. And this is something that I want to start with as soon as possible because I'm really eager to get something bigger and I don't want to like, move the, everything that I got in studio to a different place. And I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing like a vlog series about the entire thing because maybe you get some inspiration on doing a space like this yourself. Um, but I would love to know, so do drop a comment down below because I'm super pumped to get this thing off the ground. Oh, cold, 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 cold. I actually found my very first own branded cap. I remember using this cap during the entirety of like 2017, 2018, and I was so proud that I managed to design that logo. But looking at the state of the cap, I think it's time to say adios. There's the trash can. Bye bye. If 2020 was the year of the cameras, then 2021 is going to be the year of the drones. I am expecting DJI Mavic Pro 3, and then we also got Air Peak. Holy crap, I'm excited about that. Seeing Sony take some big steps into the drone markets is definitely something that I'm excited about because it's not only like good to have some other drones than DJI to jump into the market of professional videography, but it's also good for us consumers to be able to get better options depending on what we are shooting or what we want to shoot. So I can't wait to get my hands on it. I really want to try it out. I mean, like being able to put an A7 III onto a drone and choose the lens that you want, mm, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Never trust a gorilla pod, right? So I've been thinking a whole lot lately on like how to stay motivated on things and what has driven me the most when it comes to like this YouTube channel and what drove me the most when I was doing bodybuilding and how to stay motivated during tough times and what we need to think of to be able to keep that motivation going. And I can only speak for myself to know what kind of things that work for me. But one of the things that I do know that I tend to do on a lot of my videos, especially is to overthink things instead of actually doing the things that I want to do. And what I mean about overthinking is that whenever I want to start something, say it is a video or that I want to get better at working out or that I want to get back into the routine of eating healthy, I always tend to like want to have everything in place before I actually start it. The worst part about that is that those things tend to become an excuse as to why you're not actually starting out. And I know that a lot of creators out there probably has the same kind of feeling that I do, that you want to do something, but you don't really know where to start. And then like the more you think about it, you create this huge project that you want to create. And all of a sudden, like it becomes this overwhelming thing that you can't even get off the ground. And I think that that is very dangerous for anything that you want to achieve. So instead of like thinking about the project that you want to do it, just get to it and actually start the thing that it is that you want. Maybe YouTube videos, an Instagram channel, Instagram channel and YouTube account, working out or whatever it is, just like get to it and start. Because once you've done that, that is when you can start setting up the small goals that will lead you to the bigger goal 
that you want to achieve, setting up small part goals along the way to like the main goal that you want to achieve is definitely something that helps to keep that motivation going. If you're like just having it in your head, you're, you're only going to think about the goals and think about like, I might not be able to achieve this or I might not be able to do this. But if you write them down, that is super helpful to be able to remind yourself that you need to be able to make these goals happen. And some of the goals that I have for this channel in 2021 is going to be to get twice the amount of views that I got on the channel during 2020. And I'm also going to aim to cross 500,000 subscribers until the end of June. I think we can make it, but I'm gonna set up some small goals before those are going to happen so that we can cross them off as we go. And to be able to successfully reach the goals that you are setting up for yourself, one really good thing, and I know that it's not easy, but it's working out to like clean your mind off everything that's going on. Because when you're working out, directly after the workout, your body is like filled with endorphins and you're feeling this like really like, oh, I made it, I'm feeling good, I'm uh, oh. That kind of feeling like lasts throughout the day, but getting into the routine of working out is probably gonna be the hardest if you're not like starting and jumping right into it. So creating a routine is therefore extremely important because when you have that in place, it's gonna be very easy for you to maintain it. But if you don't create the routine and make it like a recurring thing in your everyday life, then it's gonna be very hard to like get it started. And for example, when I was doing bodybuilding, like at my peak, I always did a couple of changes to the schedule. So for example, before I started working out six to seven days a week, I always aimed to like at least be in the gym three days a week. And then a year after that, I was like four days a week. And then a year after that, it was like five days a week and so on and so on. If you want to start create routine, set up a goal. For example, if you want to work out, create one workout a week and that is going to be better than zero workouts a week. And once you feel comfortable with that routine, you move on to something different, like you expand on that routine that you set up from the beginning. So instead of working out one time a week, you just move up and then you start working out two times a week. And that is gonna like create this flow of endorphins and you're gonna feel better about yourself. And then ultimately comes come into this like flow of having a good habits, being more motivated, staying healthy, and all of those things that are bonus when it comes to working out. And last thing that I wanna talk about that I do a whole lot and probably you as well is procrastinate. It's such an easy thing to do, but it's also one of the like, worst thing to do when you want to achieve things because procrastinating takes up so much of your time even though you don't think it actually does. Watching YouTube videos for inspiration, watching YouTube videos for motivation tutorials and those kind of things, those are not procrastination. The procrastination that I'm talking about is like watching Netflix just because you don't have the time to do something else or you don't have the energy to do something else. I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, Oh. And I know that I'm guilty of that myself. And I also know that like scrolling social media is one of the worst things that I can do when I want to be productive. So this year, especially, I try to use my phone less and less because I don't want to like be molded by the social media as much as I am when I'm watching it. I know that it's hard to like not procrastinate and do all these things, but I think that if you have at least one of these things in place and start to like punch in the different things into your everyday life, then you will definitely stay more motivated over a longer period of time. I really hope that you get a couple of tips from this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that. Where is it? I usually do like that. So it should be here. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to see like the whole office build out in vlog style format, do drop a comment down below because I would love to hear. It. And uh, oh, Peter from Sweden saying goodbye. <laughs>